What's up, Raging Nation? How's it going? This is Alex, you, and you're watching a Marvel edition of the Raging Nation show. This is just a web series where we talk about all things matter me in the world of Marvel films. This episode number 63, and in this video, I got a couple of small news tidbits for you guys. But then I also have a big announcement, which I'm pretty sure you guys are well aware about. Let's first talk about what's going on at 20th Century Fox. And, well, it turns out that the Wolverine 2, or the third Wolverine solo film, whatever you want to call it. I don't really even know what they're calling it. Well, that film is going to start filming next year, early next year. Of course, to make it for their March 3rd, 2017 release. Okay, so it actually is officially happening. Now, they've already locked in their date, of course, March 3rd, 2017. But this is the first official news where we're actually hearing about, or rather knowing about, something actually happening. And they're actually going to start filming in early 2016. All right, James Mangold is back to direct. Of course, Hugh Jackman is back as Logan. And... You know what? It's going to be very interesting. The fact that, and I'm probably sure some of you guys forgot, but Patrick Stewart is going to be joining him. Okay? That's going to be pretty cool. Okay? So, to know that that uh, universe is connected, you know, like, like really quite directly, as a matter of fact, uh, you know, the Wolverine solo film universe and the X Men universe, to see that connection, that direct connection, really really you know makes the fans happy so i'm glad they're doing that all right so once again march 3rd 2017 is when the wolverine 2 comes out and of course it will be filming early next year all right now let's move on to the big news and that is of course and i'm sure you guys heard this over the last two or three days and that is jeremy renner is confirmed to be reprising his role as clint barton aka hawkeye for Captain America Civil War. You know what? They might as well call Captain America Civil War Avengers 2.5. They may as well call it that because everybody's back. <laughs> I mean, they might even get a cameo from Peter Parker. Maybe. I don't know. But it's possible. Okay? It's all up in the air right now. But you know what? Anything could happen. The fact is that we are seeing a lot of characters that we've seen before in this Marvel character, this Avengers solo character, this, this solo film, okay? This is a Captain America film, okay? Not only are we getting Black Widow and Falcon, okay? But we're getting Captain America. We're seeing the introduction of Black Panther. We're also seeing Hawkeye in the mix, okay? Nick Fury is also going to be in there. And Winter Soldier, Haley Atwell, you know, uh, Peggy Carter. So this is a pretty huge lineup. This is going to be a huge film. And I think they want to replicate the success of the Avengers film, but in a more, uh, I guess, a more personal setting. And that'll be, it's Captain America's film. At the end of the day, that's his film. But they're going to, th once they throw Tony Stark in the mix, the movie's just huge. He brings in those box office bucks, and that is probably one of the reasons why he's putting him in there. But this is also, of course, Civil War. This is where they go, you know what I'm saying? They go head-to-head -head with each other because of the, the disagreements they have about the Mutant Registration Act. And, of course, Spider-Man was a part of that. So, I still don't know if it's going to happen to have Peter Parker in it. But, like I said, it could happen. Anyways, to have Hawkeye in there... Whose team do you think he's going to be on? Is he going to be Team America or Team Stark? <laughs> well, there will be a common threat. I'm positive of that. I mean, they we won't just see Steve Rogers and Tony Stark going head-to-head -head with each other. There's going to be a common threat. They're going to have to work out their differences. And, of course, they're going to have to work together to be the Avengers. Or something big is going to happen and we're going to see them work together later on in Infinity War considering that Tony Stark or rather uh, Robert Downey Jr. is most likely going to be appearing only in one of them. Okay? So, and of course all their contracts are up except for Robert Downey Jr. So therefore it's possible that he might be leading a new team of Avengers in Infinity War. But anyways, that's all up in the air. What I'm really here to talk about is just the fact that uh, that Jeremy Renner has signed on 
for uh, for Captain America Civil War, which is super, super exciting, okay? To see the team come together again exactly one year after Avengers Age of Ultron, that is exciting, okay? I mean, let's think about the story, okay? You got Avengers Age of Ultron, then you have Ant-Man, and then you have Captain America Civil War, okay? The events of Captain America Civil War are going to happen directly after you know, like, it's closely connected with the events of Avengers uh, Age of Ultron. Ant-Man, not so much, because Ant-Man actually takes place in San Francisco. And, and on top of that, they're kind of keeping him a little bit more, um, uh, kind of off to the side. Okay, the connection is there, but I'm sure we're going to see more of a direct connection in the uh, end credit scene of Ant-Man. But I'm sure there's going to be little, small Easter egg connections here and there. But it's probably not going to be that much, uh, like, really, really that connected. In fact, it's going to be, it's going to be like Guardians of the Galaxy, how it's going to feel like, like, really quite disconnected from what we've seen from the previous solo films, char Marvel character solo films. So, uh, there you have it. Pretty exciting stuff. Now, moving on, i got a couple of uh, negative stuff to tell you guys. I know I talked about a lot of positive stuff, but we're going to have to talk about a little bit of negative stuff. And that is James Gunn is not going to be coming to San Diego Comic Con. And he also mentioned that uh, Marvel Studios is not coming. Kevin Feige is not going to be there. Um, you know, the, the, the Avengers casting crew is not going to be there. Uh, in fact... Why is there even a need to be there considering that uh, Comic-Con takes place after Avengers Age of Ultron? Okay, so I'm not surprised that it's not happening. I mean, there could be a secret panel. I mean, these things do happen. So he could be lying, but uh, it's possible they could have a secret panel where it's just Kevin Feige and a small handful of uh, Marvel actors. But I'm pretty sure it's not going to be in the Avengers until, you know, much later. I mean, to have them all there, that's a huge, huge thing. I don't think they're going to repeat that that again, okay, until we get closer to Infinity War, okay? So, yeah, I, I don't think it's happening. But anyways, James Gunn said he's not going to be coming and he also... and. Uh, uh, Marvel Studios won't be coming appearing there as well. He also mentioned that Captain Marvel will not be appearing in Guardians of the Galaxy 2. Now, it's not April Fool's, so I'm pretty sure that if he says that, then it's not happening. Captain, Amer Captain Marvel most likely will, will, will see her first appearance in Captain Marvel unless they decide to do something with any of the other films, uh, you know, which they haven't really talked a whole lot about, okay? So there you have it. Uh, the final thing that I want to talk to you guys about is who's going to be playing um, Spider-Man. And, you know, this is just a rumor going on, but the rumor has been thwarted, okay? It's been dispelled, okay? And that is um, actor Sam Strike uh, uh, tweeted that he's got a big role with Sony. Okay, now, the silly thing about this is that why does everybody automatically have to associate Sony uh, when, with regards to, you know, the movie studio, Sony Pictures, with Spider-Man? Why is it always by default everybody associates any mention of Sony Pictures with Spider-Man? People thought that Sam Strike was, was, uh, um, got the call to play Peter Parker. Okay, and he wasn't allowed to talk about All he tweeted was that he's up for a big role, but he can't talk about it, okay? Turns out he's not going to be playing Peter Parker. <laughs> Which still leads us to to the the whole um, the whole uh, Miles Morales uh, character. All right, who knows? But anyway, Sam Strike is not playing Peter Parker. He's playing Leatherface for uh, the uh, for another installment in the Texas Chainsaw Massacre uh, franchise. All right, so that rumor has been dispelled. But anyways. That's all I got to say in this video. I'm just really, really excited about the fact that Hawkeye is going to be playing uh, a role in uh, in Captain America's Civil War. It's going to be huge. This is going to be a really, really big movie, okay? And people are going to think this is Avengers 3, okay? And um, really, really awesome. I I'm super excited about that. Anyways, that's all I got to say in this video. As always, if you enjoyed this video, hit the like button. If you want to see more Marvel movie news, Make sure you subscribe and also follow me on Twitter at Rage Nation and also uh, like the Rage Nation Facebook page. I'll see you next time. My name is Alex. You peace out. Of what it's really about. What it's really about is this big corporation trying to eliminate a a a, a robot that's self-aware and, and 